Hey YouTube, Pikmin Band 72 here. And it's Stupid Pikmin 1001, and this is Super Mario Sunshine Take You Episode 15. And when we last left off, we just got all the shine sprites and blue coins in Rico Harbor. So now we're ready to move on to the third area of Pink Isle Dolphino, which is Gelato Beach. And that's and the portal of that is on the lighthouse that we saved from that other racist pile of poop. Yeah, because it was black and stronger. Yeah. Usually people who race them like they they portray blacks as weaker, but anyway, here we are. Yeah, but I guess it's racist to any other color of goo. Yeah, like the brown ones only take three bits. So here we are, episode one. So yeah, there's another secret in the in this one, but I'm actually really good at this one. I'm actually really good at all the secrets except for Bianco Hills, episode six. And what about the other one? You failed at that, like, four times. Yeah, but, okay, aside from the Bianco Hills one. So, Oh, these, run, run. Yeah, these are cataplacks. And Just spray them so they go away. Yeah, if they catch you, they flip you up in the air like that, but they don't hurt you except for the red ones. The red ones hurt you when they do that. Well, like, the cataplacks hurt you if you touch their body. But the red ones hurt you if you so touch their body that, or... So the, that's a tune bug. Yeah, spray it. And just, yeah, when you just spray, spray it, it. A weird sand sculpture appears, and when you spray that particular one, a sand castle appears, which transports you into the secret. You have to go through the door. And avoid the cataphracts, because, yeah, the castle crumbles. Pretty. Well, it takes a while. Like, you could probably walk to it. Like, yeah, without the sliding. Yeah, if I could have could have worn for the cataphracts. So yeah, and I'm sorry the video is so zoomed out, but... Zoomed in. No, zoomed out, because I unzoomed in. Yeah, because my phone needs to be on the charger, because it's running low, and he needs to lean back so that the volume... Yeah, and this is not a comfortable position, because I'm putting my head on the table, so I can, get, so I can like, make the view best, but so, it's really hurting my neck. So, yeah, they're, those are sand blocks, and they start to disintegrate and fuck on them. So yeah, this I'm trying some nails. So yeah, these all have coins and the other one has a one up. Another coin. Now let's go. Don't be a noob. Oh you're a noob. Yeah. I still don't understand fully what that means. Well, you you looked up the definition. You said it was annoying, an annoying player of a game. Yeah. Well, actually, I was playing this like game where you're this like tank game. It's a lot. It's a game with actual other people. I called one of them a noob. Yeah, that's actually an offensive term. No, it isn't. Not really. Okay. So people use it all the time. You're a noob. Oh, you're hiding because you're almost dead. That makes you a noob. People, like, really just, they look for ways to just call you that. They actually, I think people look for ways to call you that, like, oh, you're hiding because you're almost dead, that makes you a noob, oh. Okay, so now Even though most people that are almost dead would try to hide. All we have left is the castle, and the shine sprites up there, but there's also some one-ups that I'm going to go for, because I'm not a noob. So yeah, gonna... well, noobs don't, usually don't go for all the one-ups. Yeah, well, I'm going to show that I'm not scared to. And there's no one up here, is there? And there's no one up there. But I'm going to touch it just to show that I'm not a noob. Noobs don't, and pros usually. Noobs and pros usually don't get all the one-ups. Yeah, well, I'm just... Because, yeah, the opposite of noob is pro. Who's a really good, good player? Well, I don't know, really at anything, I guess. Because, luckily, yeah, pro, pro is, pro, means pro fesh, luckily professional. Luckily, there's a lot of sand blocks here to catch me. From your inevitable death, which would happen if they weren't there. It's not going to happen because I'm going to get the shine spray right now. Well, you're less of a noob, but still a noob. You're not pro yet. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll do episode two now. Which, which is... Um, okay, I'm going to need to ex probably explain it a little, because the Pianta doesn't do a very good job to, they make you talk to them if you like it. Um, well, in Gelato Beach, there's a tower with the sandbird egg, and 
And it has like a, a globe at the top that like pulls in all the sun's energy and warms it. And the it's wiggler being blocked by the wiggler yeah, the who's wiggle, laying on it and taking a nap. Yeah, the wiggler wants to take a nap on top of it, but, but it's too hot for him because it captures the sun's energy. So he sent his little segments down to the mirrors, which reflect all, deflect all the heat to move them around to so they don't. The mirror so they don't. Yeah. Heat the tower, and we have to do that. And we have to save them. I'll save the sandbird. Oh, yes, it's Bianca. Yeah, he just says it could endanger the birdie. He doesn't actually tell you what to do. Like, the battle is actually, like, pretty hard if you didn't know what to do. Like, if it's your first time, because he doesn't tell you anything. But it may not seem like a... It's actually, like, a mini-boss battle, because the boss music plays like this. Yep, see, now that he's not walking on it anymore, it goes back to its original form, and the heat gets deflected onto the globe. But it's still not warm enough to get him off. Yeah. So I guess we'll move on to the second mirror, which has two of those on it. Oops. Oh, you're a noob. He <laughs> hit you. I'm going to try to get both of them at the same time. I don't think that would be possible. What? Oh. How did that not work? I think I wasn't far on the edge. It didn't like have enough force behind it. Nope. What? Oh. I think you can only do it like one at a time. Oh yeah, yeah. It's too. They like hold it down together. It's too strong. What? Aw, maybe you're not on the exact opposite for them both. Yeah, I need to get on the exact opposite. Just do one at a time, it'll probably be easier. What? It's a rip-off! Okay, I should, since they're both close together, I should be able to get them in I, I think I've done it before, so it's possible. Get to the... There they go. Okay, that was even further, but that was even further from the edge than it was the first time. But, like, how did it do it? Still not warm enough to get him off, so. Yeah, and, and the heat is actually pretty relaxing then because he's blowing snot bubbles in his sleep, which all the actually do. Yeah, he's blowing snot bubbles in his sleep. Are you going to try to kill them all three at the same time? Yeah. You're almost out of water. Yeah, I should probably get more. I want some coins. But I don't want to go all the way down to the ocean. Can I just try to do it with the water I have? Nah, you probably wouldn't make it if you use that much water in the first two tries. Just so go okay. to the ocean. Yeah. Get some more. You're good. Gotta wait for it to tilt in the right balance, like that, and then get him. Yeah. So you're still you're still a noob, but you're given the rank less of a noob than was before. You can try to get them all at the same time. Well, I'd be even less of a noob if I get all of them at the same time. On this one. That will make you pro if you do that. Well, then I'm gonna do that. Okay, okay. Okay, there, that one's done. Uh, I have got that one. Okay, go. Just go. Doesn't matter. If you get them all at the same time, you're a pro. Okay. But if not, it'll yeah, just make they you. They don't seem to be cooperating, which is. Go. Oh um. crap. Oh. Well, since you got at least, since you got two at the same time, that makes you less of a noob. So you're. Instead of just being less of a noob, you're just now somewhat noobish. Okay, so... And now he's going to die. Yeah, now, now it's maximum hot, so it shakes him off, and he's not too happy about that.
as you'll see in the next episode. He gets very yeah, angry. Yeah. He's not too We angry. really pissed and him off. Even though he fell off to where we can't see his body anywhere, for some reason, which is... And if you, if you watch that clip, if you watch that clip carefully, you would have seen his head and his body fall off separately. Yeah, yeah, that's what I don't get. How is he still alive? His body broke into three pieces. His head, half of his body... Wait, no, four pieces. Head, one segment of his body, two segments of his body, and then three segments of his body. Four pieces. How is he still alive? We'll find out in the next episode. And, and it seems also that he's, like, what, much bigger. Like, may have only been because he was on top of the tower, but he seems, like, much bigger. Well, maybe, like, it's... Maybe it's because it's kind of like with other Wigglers. Like, they'll get bigger when they're angry. Yeah. And okay, he gets so, really angry. Yeah, he's not too happy about us knocking him off the tower, as you'll see. Yeah, we really made him angry. He's as, pissed. As you can see, even by the title of the episode. Wiggler Hoy, full steam ahead. And, we pissed him off. And there he is, right, right there. His head seems bigger, at least. Oh, yeah. Like, in comparison to his body, his head was about the same size, but now it's bigger. Yeah, so you gotta trip him up using the sand sculptures and then ground pound a designated segment. No. Yay! That was lucky. So, yeah, the arrow comes to... So that's already one hit. And then he'll spaz out for a few seconds before he finally gets up. Now he's mad, so he blows steam out of his nose. And the music gets faster because he is pissed. So, do you want to wait a while and see him go up the hill? Oh, maybe not. You could have got him there, but... You want to see him go up the hill? Yeah. I think he does that when you hit him once. I'm not sure about twice, though. See, there he goes. No. Should we wait for him to go up the hill? Yeah, I like seeing that. Yeah. But, yeah, it's going to take the rest of this episode now. What time is it up to? Um, if we wait, I think, the, what's the next episode? Yeah, Red Point on the Sand Bird. Yeah, we're not going to have enough time anyway. Did 12 minutes and 30 seconds. So, should I, uh, well, let's wait, I think he does it in the third part. Oh, the end of his body, get him. He's going to spaz for a few seconds. With his legs. And the strategy guide says to use this bud for the third hit. And now I think he's gonna go up the hill, maybe. He is super pissed. Oh yeah, there he goes. Up the hill. Yep, there he goes. Our life is complete. Or this episode is complete, at least. Well, it's not complete until we get the chance for him. And he's going up again. Back up the hill. Didn't really need him to go up twice, but okay. Our life in this episode is even more complete than it was. Now we'll wait for him to come back, and he's going around. Uh, he's going to pen in the peninsula. And he's going in a circle again. And then he's coming over here. Okay. So yeah, spray him, spray him, spray him. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm really far. Wow. Where did he go? How did he get over there? How did I get over there? Well, he hurt you, so I guess. And there he goes. And then he dies, and he for some reason. the sand and the boss music slows down, and then he sinks into the ocean. And yeah, there's a shine spray. So should I get a coin to be it? For help? Yeah, I guess. Um, there's some, yeah, up there. It's too risky to get one. Um, I think there's one maybe at the tree. And the music isn't playing anymore, which is... Yeah, I never got that. How after you fight a boss, they don't just go back to the normal music. It makes it more dramatic. At least in, in the Super Mario Galaxy games, they like play a calm dun, fight at the boss. Music. Oh yeah, I remember. Dun, 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 yeah, but they were too lazy to put one of those in this game, so they just put more music. Just five are gonna grab your chance. But yeah, I guess they figured it was one less version of music to design and program into the game. Yeah, maybe they were like running late, so they didn't couldn't waste. They the just kind of didn't do it. Write it yes, it and get it and program it in. Oh, there's Shadow Mario. Yeah, now that we have oh. 30 shine sprites, we unlock the rocket nozzle in Delfino Plaza. Delfino Plaza? Yeah. 
That's the oh, oh, I thought you were talking. And then we can go to the Pianta Village, but we don't. Yeah, let's just get it. We're up to 15 minutes now, but let's just get it anyway. Oops. Almost fell into that house there. You can't get in anyway, even if you wanted to. Well, you can if it glitches, but then you, like, you fall into, like, this blue area, and then you die. You yeah, know, you, you just die automatically. Well, sometimes, like, you, like, stand still, and if you try to move, you die. That's, that, that's happened to me. Yeah, it happened to me at City Hall. I just fell through yeah. the roof. So, maybe go. To your left, back there. Um, there he is. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, not back up. I thought I had him cornered. But I forgot he, uh, he has all the same moves as me. Ah. Uh, I'm back down again. And you don't have him cornered, remember? I'm back up again. I want him to do something else, like go over on the cylindrical island things. Because he does that sometimes. There he goes. Looks like he's just going to the lighthouse. You want him to go into the cylindrical islands over there? Oh, well, I guess not too late. Gonna... Alright, so I guess we're going to get to so, ending the episode here. Hey, just get a turbo muscle. Yeah, just go on. Yay! So, that was our first Delfino Plaza rocket. Yep. Now, um, it may, may seem like only now we can get into not the village, but there's a trick that you could do to get in there before this, like with the hover nozzle. Yeah, it involves, like, uh, wall jumping, spin jumping, triple jumping. It's Yeah, you'll see it later in the game for a reason I'm not going to spoil Yeah, but we're going to do it later in the game, but don't spoil the reason. Yeah, I know why. Yeah, the, the, you told me before. Yeah, don't spoil it for the next Okay, so well, I guess this is it for this episode. Yeah, so we're gonna yeah. So yeah, I guess we're gonna end the episode here. So mm -hmm. yeah, this is Pikmin Fan 72. I'll see you in 2001. Signing off.